Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to get into finally, also that is something that I'm late to covering, uh, the Disney Princess Radiance Gemstone Collection dolls with Belle having dropped first. Um, then we also have a new Ariel doll and we actually have some first uh, IRL images of the other dolls uh, thanks to a Mattel Creations live stream. So a lot to cover. So let's get into Before it. Before we delve into the Radiance Collection, let's get into first the this new Ariel doll. So this, she came out of nowhere. She's random. She, I don't know. She's Is she part of a collection? Is she just a single release? I, I think so. Uh, there's no name for her officially. We really just call her the peasant dress Ariel because that's her peasant dress or village dress, if you will, from the animated movie. Um, and apparently she's going to be a Target exclusive in the States, in the US. Uh, everywhere else she will be sold as well as the first link that we have here on youloveit.com is actually a Swiss toy website which i never knew existed but here i am i live in switzerland and i've never heard of this website before so that's <laughs> so random um so this is where we have the stock photos from obviously she's out of stock right now the price point is almost 50 bucks on the website so pretty expensive for a single doll with standard art articulation and it seems like basic outfit so but let's let's actually talk about the doll right so i don't know when she's coming out or how much she will cost in the states but she um i hope the box looks good by the way i hope she comes with a stand perhaps that would be really cool but um as uh, as of right now uh we can we can only see that she has a dress on it's a really cute dress you know i'm not sure if the top and the bottom skirt are separate or not because of course it kind of like covers it all if they're separate that would be really cool but they might not be the actual materials that they used uh fabrics right they're so cute they're so they feel nice they don't feel too cheap um i like the details at the bottom of the skirt with like the frills having the same pattern like the bow in her hair nice nice tie-in i like that it, you know a cohesive um speaking of the bow is big it's not too big but it does stick out from the front which is accurate to the movie um and then the hair is nice it looks nice the face is gorgeous like her face up her face card is approved it looks amazing she has she, she just like with all these mattel disney princess releases so far they have their faces are you know gorgeous they're gorgeous so honestly for that alone you might want to collectors might want to get her because her face is just so pretty it looks different enough from the budget release so that's also a you know big enough difference right there uh now the only thing that i will say that they could have done different and better here definitely is the corset the corset is way too large for her it doesn't do the job that a corset should do which is cinch in the waist um here it just looks like a like really baggy which again is not how a corset works <laughs> i get that it's a doll and that corsets are hard to tailor around the, a doll's body perhaps with certain materials fabrics right etc a budget whatever um but it's a corset they should have and i think it's a, a easy solution they should have just you know really cinched in the waist they should have uh used less you know fabric um to really make it look less baggy and make it look more like an actual corset uh but that's a because I, I feel like that would have made her look 10 times better because she still looks good but she just looks not as good because you know that she could have looked so good perfection right with that small little tweak um but yeah that's really my only big complaint the heels are cute so i think she's overall a really nice doll okay now getting into the new radiance gemstone collection which is a mattel creations exclusive i think uh this first got revealed a couple weeks ago and of course the first doll to launch from this collection is Belle and she has launched um last week I believe and she costs 75 US dollars now that is not including shipping if you live outside of the US so uh and I have bought from a Creations before and the shipping cost internationally is 30 bucks so yeah that's you're, you're paying over 100 for this doll <laughs> so you know she's let, let's talk about her so obviously there's three characters overall right uh jasmine aurora are coming as well i'm gonna say this now before i forget jasmine is coming next 
on September 22nd or 23rd.、Um, and Aurora is going to be the last one. She's going to drop on November, November 3rd, I, I think, or 2nd. So, yeah, so there's a, a, a month where they don't launch anything. Weirdly enough, I feel like they could have easily put Aurora. Um, to release in October, you know, after September. Like, so every month we get a new doll release. That would have made sense. But they, weirdly enough, they leave out October and they just release Aurora, which is the one that I want the most. She's the one that I would want to get.、Um, they release her in November, which is just so far away. <laughs> But you know, she, she's my favorite, like for sure. She's just so pretty. But yeah, so those are the those are the release dates. And like I mentioned, Belle has dropped already, so you can buy her right now on Mattel Creations. She hasn't sold out, you know, so、um, that's good. That means that there's.、Um, There's not enough, like, it's it's not like a s collector situation. So,、um, but I would get her soon if you really wanted her because, you know, you never know, she might sell out.、Um, especially because, you know, they did release, Mattel Creations did release like a new live stream that we'll get into later, showcasing more,、um, you know, real life images of the dolls and talking more about the, you know, process of concept art to actual doll with the box design as well. It's really nice. Like, you should watch the whole live stream. It's on Mattel Creations YouTube. Channel right now.、Um, but yeah, so we'll get to that in a second. But so Belle, you know, she's the first one to drop, like I mentioned four times now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, you know, she, she's in her, you know, yellow iconic gown. She, she has some, the gimmick here with all these dolls is that they each have like、um, some gemstones adorning the gown, the dress somewhere, you know, to really accentuate or just. As an accent, but I, I guess、uh, that's the theme, right? The, the gems. So, really cute. Her gemstones are like droplets to resemble the rose petals, which is really nice.、Uh, they're pink, they do stick out, but I think it matches her lipstick. So, it's really nice. It's a really cute con. It's like a really nice, co coherent vibe, like little details.、Um, then, her heels are shaped after, they're actually、um, inspired by the enchanted mirror. So, that's really a nice detail. They mentioned that in the live stream as well.、Um, and And then the gown is,、uh, again, it does look like the silhouette is basically the same, like the animated version. The only difference is, is that I guess it has some,、um, like it has these really big rose buds on the shoulder and around the dress that are bigger, but、uh, it still looks basically the same. Like the gloves are there. I'm happy about that. The face looks amazing.、Um, so, yeah, overall, I think Belle has like a really, is, is, she looks like a really nice doll. And I've seen a couple of people buy her that I follow personally. On social media, that you know, are, are you know, they're, they're excited. So, I, I, do sh I do think she's a pretty doll. And if you're a Belle fan, then definitely,、uh, you know, consider she's expensive, but you know, if you really want her, you know, she does look like a high quality doll with the packaging as well.、Um, and you know, the stand. So, and they do have nine points of articulation. So, they do have, you know, like the, like the generic base. Points,、uh, like they do have enough articulation, not made to move, obviously, but they do have enough, which I think is good. They also have the new Cinderella and Tiana collector dolls up on Mattel Creations right now for pre order, I believe, and they cost around、uh, you know, $45. Okay, now getting into the live stream pictures where we could see the dolls in real life unboxed, all of them better looks at、uh, you know, Aurora,、uh, Jasmine, and Belle's concept art as well.、Um, the concept art, look at this. It's beautiful. Like, you can really tell, like, the pink was supposed to match the lipstick, and then everything else is just like a really gold for Belle. You know, Aurora's pink actually, the hue changes between some shots. I'm not really sure which pink is accurate, but. The silhouette is amazing. And then Jasmine, you know, her dress is actually、uh, based on the purple dress, which she doesn't wear. She, she, it's not her, you know, iconic dress. It's not her iconic look that we all know her for. It's the turquoise one, usually. But the purple one actually fits really well because it's more like elegant. It reads more elegant. And they also kind of. Made it into more of a gown to also fit with the coherent vibe of the other dresses in this collection.、Um, we have some more stock photos of these two gals, Aurora and Jasmine, because、um, 
you know, before this live stream, we, we didn't really have any other pictures of these two dolls. So I'm really happy that now we do have more pictures. Also of the shoes, Jasmine's shoes are so cool looking and Aurora's shoes look also really simple, but very elegant, very gold with some painted details in pink. Um, I think they both look amazing. Again, I'm, I'm biased because I love Aurora. She's my girl. I can't wait to get her. I'm definitely going to get her. Um, I do think that dress, it just looks so elegant with the, with the material that they use, the fabric with the gold details the gems that are inspired by the actual book and the intro of the Sleeping Beauty movie. It's just iconic. And, uh, and then the boxes here, they're obviously gem shaped. They have this luxury feeling um, that they mentioned also um, was important in the live stream. And they have different colors for each box. So Belle has a deep red. Aurora's box is like a deep blue. And then Jasmine's is a turquoise green. So is so beautifully done uh, obviously also because these are the um main colors of the color wheel right it's it's a uh, well is it wait is it red blue and yellow so i guess yeah they switched the green the turquoise yeah so you know but it almost looks like really like like really like um royal colors you know what i mean like it looks very elegant you know like very uh elegant royal stones you know, like you think sapphire, you think emerald, you think ruby when you see these boxes. They're just so, they're just so perfect. I think they do, they did a really good job here um, executing them and then the dresses obviously themselves. They just look so good. I can't even, so like Aurora's bangs look so amazing. I love the face up. And that's also another thing. The face ups, the side glances are so sophisticated. They look amazing. They look so elegant. Um, they work so well to, you know, level up the dolls themselves. And like I mentioned, they do have, you know, the nine points of articulation. So they do have enough articulation that I think does make them perhaps like a collector level doll. And uh, the price point is, you know, steep. So obviously you would expect that. So I'm just, I'm happy that they do have that quality in here um, with the dresses, the fabrics that they use, the hair the care they went into doing that with the faces the box as well you can really tell that they did try their best with the budget they that they were also given so um overall i think this is a good collection there's not going to be any more characters added to this collection this is all that there's going to be for this collection specifically but there's obviously going to be more dolls and characters released uh, with the you know new new partnership with mattel uh, in the future with frozen ariel the new doll that we just saw and more villain dolls so obviously there's going to be more but in this collection this is uh th it's only these three dolls which honestly i think it's a really nice number three you know it gives you these nice boxes it, again it's just so gorgeous so stunning um and i think it's a good collection overall but i'm not gonna get all of them i really just need aurora she's just like my favorite and jasmine is really pretty though like the purple is so beautiful and Belle, i mean a yellow is gorgeous but like if you i don't think most of us have the budget like they are very expensive you know you're paying a hundred plus internationally if you don't live in the u.s you know it just is very expensive so but i think you know it is good for what it is. You know, it's very well executed. You can feel the passion for sure. But what do you think of the collection overall? Which one's your favorite? What do you think of the price point? Did you get Belle or are you waiting to get Jasmine or Aurora like me? Let me know down below. Oh yeah, and let me know what you think of the new Ariel doll as well. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay pg kisses